My, you and Courtney seemed to really gel in the fourth quarter um, the other night when you guys really needed a run, a couple of uh, different pick and rolls uh, that got buckets. Um, what's it been like, you know, playing with her and, you know, still building that chemistry and unlocking it when you guys needed it most in the playoffs? Yeah, um, no, it's been, it's been great. Um, whenever you can play with a point guard who's, like, lethal with her, her mid-range, it makes my job a lot easier because my defender is most likely going to step up and try to stop her. But she's also a willing passer and a capable passer. So it just makes my job a lot easier when you have a point guard like that. You talked earlier after the, you first came here, being someone who has a championship ring and has been there before, mm -hmm. seeing that this team has you know what it takes to um, make it that far and uh, you know win the whole thing. After you know first game of the playoffs with this team, so what was that experience like? You know, in surviving a, a furious comeback from a Phoenix team like that. Exactly. Um, actually, after the game, I was thinking about this too. I was like, what really makes this team? Mm -hmm like go and and be able to win a championship and i think it's like how we don't get rattled like we're like we were up by 20 they make a comeback no one's rattled we get to the timeout everyone's calm speaking to each other you know very like respectfully and just getting you know our point across and and just staying level-headed the whole time um i think that's what's going to get us over this hump and and hopefully you know win a championship what's the hardest thing about guarding a player like BG? Oh, shoot. I mean, I'll be here for a minute if that's the case. Um, no, she's a phenomenal player. Uh, she's She has great hands. That's another thing that I was like, oh, my goodness. Like, she's probably, like, one of the fives in this league that has the best hands. Uh, you throw it up, she's going to catch it. Um, she has great touch around the rim. She affects a lot of shots down low, um, altering. Like, she doesn't necessarily have to block the shot, but just her presence, it makes you – you know, think twice whether or not I want to challenge it or, you know, kick to the corner or or any other player. Um, so she does an amazing job for that team. And, I mean, she's all, like, USA, Phoenix, shoot, even at Baylor. Like, <laughs> he's just, she's just a phenomenal player that knows how to play basketball too. So where do you think this team can improve the most defensively from game one to game two? Oh, I think we can scramble a little more. We talked about that in film. Um, yeah, I think that's, like, the biggest – area that we can you know improve on it's get back to minnesota ball and just running around on the court uh that makes it a lot harder to play against my issue what are the closeout games like in the series i mean does anything change when it's win and advance kind of the situation you guys are in now i mean yeah we got to play for 40 minutes and we got to think of it like it's let's just play this 40 minutes right here. Let's not be like, oh, like we have another game to play. No, let's try to get it done in the 40 um, that we have coming up tomorrow. And I think that's the mindset. Let's just get it done. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, guys.